Welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. Now in this episode we're going to focus on reuse and specifically how you can reuse features across different Oracle Math applications. Now let's consider the following problem. Well it's not so much a problem, your adoption of Oracle Math has been excellent and you've de developed a number of separate applications including a project management application to help your project managers get an overview of their projects as well as a separate application for engineers in the field to retrieve a work list of all the tasks they have to complete. And as you can see, each math application is made up of a number of features for that particular application. Yet across the applications, we note that there are some common features. Both applications have a feature to show the project managers and the engineers their current tasks as well as a notifications feature to share project updates. So ultimately, across the two applications, we have 10 features, not 12. Yet because we have two common features, tasks and notifications, does that mean we have to build them twice for each application? Oracle Math solves this problem by allowing you to separate your application workspaces and to create a third application workspace of common features. These features are then deployed via something called a feature archive or a FAR and shared with the other mobile application workspaces that are eventually deployed to the actual mobile devices. So within the project in which you've developed a feature, usually the view controller project, you can package up that feature along with any supporting files or artifacts it needs like icons connections or code associated with the feature. Then in a different application workspace, you can consume that archive and reference the feature so that it can be used just like a locally defined feature. So let's see this in a very quick demo in JDeveloper. So here we are inside JDeveloper and we have an application called Common Features Workspace and this is where we'll have or build our common features. And in the View Controller project you'll see in the Math Featured XML file we have Tasks and Notifications which are two features we've already created. And Tasks points to an AMX page and so does Notifications as well. We can also see that for Tasks we require access to the contacts on the device as well for this particular feature to work. Okay, so let's take those features and put them into our jar files so that we can deploy them. So we go to the project, the view controller project, take project properties, and then for deployment, we create a new deployment. And this is where we select a math feature archive file. And let's give the feature archive a name my reusable features and here we could define for example connections for it so if these features require connections for for example accessing web services we could define them here as well so let's okay that and having created the feature archive file we want to now deploy it so select the project deploy and there's the feature archive we'll deploy this to a jar file and that's it. And if we look at our deployment, you'll see the URL or the file location of where the archive has been deployed to. And let's copy that because we're going to use it in just a moment. So here we are inside the workspace called Consuming Application in which we're going to consume the FARs that we have packaged up and deployed. So the first thing we need to do is create a new connection to the file system. So let's give it a connection name. My FARS file connection. And then the path to where the FAR was deployed. Remember we did that in the last demo. So the deployed directory, let's test that connection. And there we've got a connection. So now we take this jar file and we right click and we say add it to the application as a library. So that means the view controller 
project will now have or has now consumed that jar file. And if we look in the mathapplication.xml file at the feature references, you'll see that we can now add a feature and the feature that we add, we can select from the far file that we had deployed earlier. So there's notifications and tasks. So let's select notifications, okay it, and let's also add the feature tasks as well from the library. And you also remember that tasks feature required access to contacts. So there it's requesting access and we can grant it here within this application. So in this episode, you've seen how you can reuse a feature by packaging it up into a library and consume it within a new project. So thank you very much for watching this mobile application framework video.